hey y'all i'm onyx welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you hit that post notification bell so you can be notified every time that i post it's gonna this is gonna be a quick video i just wanted to jump on here because while taking a shower something crossed my mind and i just felt like i'm pretty sure there's like a hundred hundreds of thousands of videos like this on youtube however um i've never searched it so i couldn't tell you if it is or if it isn't but it was just brought it came to me while in the shower that i needed to make a video like this um this is going to be an informative video for the most part, um, mostly for women, for the most part. Men, you can listen to, chime in, tell your wives, tell your daughters, tell your friends. You know, maybe they need to try some of this stuff or whatever the case may be. This is not a product review. I do not get paper, pay prescriptions. I am not advertising anything. I am I'm not getting paid for this video. Um, but I just wanted to get on here and tell y'all, um, just recommend some stuff. Because I know as women, we go through things like yeast infections and bacterial vaginosis and other little, you know, infections that you may get in that area. And a lot of times men like to associate that with you being out in the streets and doing whatever with whoever. And that's not always the case. This goes back to how sometimes men just need to educate themselves and not just say certain things. And I'm not just saying men, but a lot of times women don't know either. And they're caring for themselves in the wrong manner. So I wanted to shed light in this video and tell you the proper way to do certain things. Now, if you don't like what I'm saying, you can always research for yourself and find out the proper way that works for you. But however, I can tell you what I know as a woman and what has worked best, what has worked for me and the information that I have found from personal experience as well as reading. Um, bacteria, first, bacteria vaginosis does not come from you having, all, does not always or does not only come from you having multiple sex partners. Sometimes some women go through the phase where after their menstrual cycles come on and go off the acid the acid in their vagina changes and that causes bv sometimes yes you can get it from having multiple sex partners however that is not the only way that you can get bv you can get it from using bath and body works on your veg on your veg on your vagina you can also get it from using victoria's secret scented fragrances on your vagina scented pads scented um panty liners uh not wearing cotton panties, wearing all kind of other material fabric, wearing dyes from the panty. Can, panties can cause yeast infections as well as bacterial vaginosis. So for those men who think that it specifically comes from her sleeping around and being promiscuous, that is not always the case. Um, it can also come from bath bombs and bubble baths and stuff like that. Those are things that we're not supposed to use on our vaginal parts. Those things are used for the, you usually are supposed to wash your skin with those things you're not supposed to use anything on your vagina except water i will say that again you are not supposed to use anything on your vagina except water um or i have come across this thing from the brand called honey pot it's all natural it only has a few ingredients y'all i don't have no glasses and i can't read it but what it does it lavender vinegar and calendula whatever that is i don't know exactly what that is i need to google that but it's plant-based for the most part so anything that's plant-based and that can be ingested basically is safe to use in your in your vaginal parts um this stuff right here was created by a black woman she uh basically had went through having bacteria vaginosis for some time i want to say two to three years that she was battling with it and she had been given prescription after prescription after prescription and nothing was working for her so she sat in her kitchen with herself and the ancestors and she came up with this as it was given to her from her spirit guides and her ancestors and it immediately cured it cured her situation in less than a week's time so um i swear by it i use it consistently i haven't had any issues i haven't had any yeast infections i haven't had any bv or any of that stuff um it doesn't have a bad smell it doesn't cause all kind of messes and you apply it with your fingers you do not use a towel that's another thing ladies we are not supposed to use washcloths on our vaginas you're gonna say what the fuck i gotta wash i get that wholeheartedly but your wash towel is supposed to be used for other things not your vagina you're supposed to use your fingers you're supposed to rinse with your fingers your fingers and water by all means do what floats your boat what feels best for you i'm just telling you what i've researched and what i've learned over time um you're not supposed to use loofahs loofahs are not it you're not supposed to use loofahs on that area that can cause other irritations and other issues um this lady right here who created honeypot she also has pads 
panty liners, um, suppositories, all of that stuff. She has boric acid suppositories that are used when you have a yeast infection. And in some cases, most cases, you can use them if you have BV as well. Bacterial vaginosis, for those of you who don't know what BV is. Um, I have friends who use our products. They have not had any issues. I've actually recommended these products to my friends. And they've used them and they've sworn by them and they only stick with her products now. So I'm just, I just felt the need to get on here and tell y'all this stuff. I don't know why. It just came to me in the shower. Um, you're not supposed to use soaps on your vagina. You're not supposed to use Summer's E, Vagia, whatever that other stuff is, body washes that equate body uh, feminine washes. You're not supposed to use that stuff on your vagina. It will, and if you have bacterial vaginosis, it will most likely make it worse. Or if you don't have it, it will most likely give it to you yeast infections if you don't have a yeast infection most likely if you're using the uh the dishes the uh feminine washes the bath bombs the body washes the bath bombs that are not herbal and completely natural um of course bath and body works victoria's secrets and the, the other stuff that you can buy scented stuff that you feel like you just want to make your for jj smell all floral and smell good and stuff like that it's supposed to have your natural smell now don't get me wrong Excuse me. You're not supposed to stink. They, it just don't stink. It cleanses itself. Um, if ever you have, I'm not going to tell you, if ever you have, I can't tell you to not go to the doctor if you think you have BV. I would advise you to go to the doctor hands down 100%. However, while going to the doctor, you can always use this stuff in the meantime until you can get to your doctor. And even after you get to your doctor, they prescribe you medication. Um, or if they prescribe you medication. Don't ever not see your doctor thinking you have BV. I always go get that doctor's diagnosis. Go see a, a physician. Always. Um, but for those of you who have BV and know you have it and it's been a thing and you just you just can't seem to get rid of it, this stuff does work. It does help. Um, what else? Something else I was supposed to say. Um... Yeah, and if you are going to use a towel, I pray to God that y'all are using not the same towel. Like, one towel for one thing, one towel for another thing. Like, one towel to wash your body, the other towel to wash that part. Specifically, only for that part. Um, because if you don't, you can infect yourself. Um, make sure you're wiping properly from front to back. Never go from back to front. If you have sex and this man go get the towel and he's wiping from front, from back to front, Take that damn towel and wipe yourself from front to back. Or show him the proper way to do it so that you don't have to keep doing it if you don't want to. I prefer, you know, I'll just tell you, don't be don't be lazy. Do it the right way so that you know you be, you, you're doing you the right way. Um, You're not supposed to write from front to back ever. Always from, I'm sorry. You're not supposed to wipe from back to front ever. You're only supposed to wipe from front to back as a woman, children, babies, all that. Um, I feel like I'm telling y'all this stuff, but grown women, of course, but some women really don't know. And some teenager might run across my page and not know and find out something new that might help them in the process too. Um, what else? Dishes. You can make your own dish. It's okay to go to the store and buy the dish out of the store. Take that Perry bottle that that liquid is in, pour all of that substance out of that bottle. And you can make your own dish with your own vinegar and water. I would say... Find you a recipe that works for you and go with that. If all else fail and you just want to use warm water and nothing else, put warm water in the bottle and use it to do what you're supposed to do with it with the dish. Um, but, of course, stay away from foreign objects. If you're using sex toys, whatever the case may be, make sure you're sanitizing your toys. Make sure only you are using your toys because you never know what the next person got going on down there. That's just my advice to you. I don't run about the toy stuff now because I don't mess with the toy stuff. I just just feel like I just need to put that out there. You can also get BV from using dirty toys. Say that again. You can also get BV from using dirty toys. That's that on that. And yeah, that's all I can think of it at this moment. I know when I lay down, I'm going to come up with something else. But for some reason, I just felt like I needed to put that out there. As you can see, I'm, well, I probably don't. I am about to go to bed straight out the shower. I know you can see it in my face. I am tired. I got on my trucker hair set because I know y'all can hear me properly with that on this iPhone here. 
But um, yeah, and I think the audio is gonna be dope. It's gonna be pretty good. Hopefully, it's recorded it properly, and y'all can hear me clearly. I know I was talking real fast because I was trying to get this stuff out, and I'm tired and ready to go to bed. But I hope you were able to get some valuable knowledge from this. Rewind it if you need to. And I will try to slow down in the next video. But I was rambling in this. Not rambling. Spitting this stuff out fast. Because I'm supposed to be in the bed right now. But uh, yeah. I don't think I have a category on here for these types of videos. But whatever. I put it in the informative section. For more videos like this. Give this video a thumbs up. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I am most likely more than likely going to drop another video on this subject or herbs and stuff like that in the near future um so yeah i'll catch you on the next video